wait a minute, boys and girls. I think I see our B. That's right, our school-wide expectations. Be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. Good morning, staff and students. We hope that you had a restful break. Today is April the 5th, Monday, 2021. And we would like to say that we're hoping that you all make it to school this week, this whole entire month. Please don't be absent, come every single day. The boys attendance challenge was a success and the girls attendance challenge will be a success as well. We're gonna be looking at this week and all of the month of April for the girls to see if you don't miss school. So girls do not be absent during this month and boys don't be absent because we're gonna be looking at your data too because we have something planned for you in the up and coming month. All righty, well, we're gonna turn it right on over to Donovan. Donovan, wow, look at you. You are a little piglet. <laughs> Thank you, Davis. Good morning, staff and students. Here's your daily bit of words of wisdom. Be careful with the words because once they are said, they can only be forgiven, not forgotten. Yes, excellent. We love it. That's right. Careful with your words. All right. Now I'm going to turn it over to Brene. Brene, do you have a riddle for us? Yes, Miss Davis. Thank you. Thank yes, Ms. Davis. Thank you, staff and students. Today's riddle is actually by my sister. Why was the dime afraid of the quarter? I don't know why was the dime afraid of the quarter. Why? Because why? it had more sense. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you so very much. If you would like to submit a riddle, or if you would like to submit words of wisdom please send them to me, Mrs. Davis, and I will forward them to Donovan and Brene. Boys and girls, it's that time again to find out out of all the children that were selected for the student of the month for the month of March, which one will get the pizza delivered to their home. And also, boys and girls, everyone's name that is on this wheel will receive ice cream for a year from Wendy's. And it will be delivered to you personally in the mail. So check the mail, boys and girls. All right, let me hear you say, spin that wheel. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, the student 
that has won the pizza that will be delivered to his home is Jawan Cotton. That's right, Jawan Cotton. Congratulations, Jawan. And congratulations to everyone whose name that is on this wheel. Alrighty girls, our Charles Wright girls, if you want to get an opportunity to win pom-poms for yourself and meet a real NFL Lions cheerleader, her name is Jasmine, then you don't want to be absent for the month of April. I'm Jasmine, I am a dental assistant, I am a Lions season ticket member, and I am also a Detroit Lions cheerleader. So I'm a dental assistant, and I assist the dentists in procedures like root canals, extractions, or anything based with fillings, composites. I took a course called Michigan Dental Assisting School. I took a course for about 10 weeks and then I graduated with my certificate in x-rays. I love the city of Detroit. I was born and raised in Detroit. I lived here all my life. Even with being downtown, the fans, the Lions fan, all of the energy and just doing community for the whole city of Detroit is just amazing. My dad is probably the ultimate Lions fan. He's um, been at like all the games as well. So I have a lot of family that definitely support the Detroit Lions. I started going to the games, well actually I've been to the Silverdome. So I would think it was about, I would say 10 years old. I actually cheered at the Silverdome because I was in a youth organization called PAL. Cheering at the Silverdome, it was at a really, really young age, but then when Fort Field opened up, I went back in 2002 with the same organization. Um, after I got out of that organization, I cheered through high school, and then I took a couple of dance classes. So working my way all the way up to being a Detroit Lions cheerleader has definitely helped me with those classes when I was younger. So far, my favorite part is definitely getting to know all of the girls. These girls are amazing. They're very empowering women. They do great things outside of cheering, you know, on and off the field, even on and off at practice. And I just love making new friends. All righty. Well, that's all we have for today. Have a wonderful day. Bye.